I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. You know, the question today are these folks who are still, and I mean the public, the, the voting public, um, and I won't even talk about the non-voting public, but they have a, <clears throat> um, an influence too on how the voting public works. But the voting public, these people who are still um, so involved with uh, number 45 and that whole movement and who don't see the wrong uh, in the way this man has lived his life. So let's talk about that and let's see if we can do a reading on that group of people uh, in general. And maybe you've got somebody in your life, maybe you're one of these folks, um, Explain it to me in the comments. Talk about it. Let me see what you think about that because I'm at a loss. Yeah, I was just browsing through um, a news feed and, and looking to see what are the hot topics today. And I came across a, um, a clip from, from the news a while back uh, where this woman was just so much defending um, number 45 before he was elected. And uh, talking about how, oh, yeah, God will use him in a great way. And, and, and he used harlots to make a point. And so I just want to try to drill down on those people, you know. How is it that they feel that such an immoral uh, person, uh, whether they felt he was immoral at the time, how did they get the wool pulled over their, so, their eyes so, so easily? How does that happen? Um, I hang around people who think like me. Um, like most of us do, and so I don't really have a, a, a view on on decent people who think that the what that person was number forty five was the perfect person to lead our country. And then, if he was the perfect perfect person to lead our country, how do they feel that those uh, those politicians who have gone right down that same road? How is it that they're willing to just you know close their ears and and not see all the um, insane um, just immoral um, rantings and, and behavior of this person and, and and how is it that fame or a decent paying job because that's what they've all got they've got a, probably one of the best paying jobs they've ever, ever had for a lot of them some of them are rich but some of them this is a good gig for them and they don't want to give it up under any circumstances and a bunch of people voted for them so now they feel empowered those people that voted for them that's who I want to drill down on why are are they empowering these um, these fame seekers really so i've got a bunch of cards on the table here just because um i want to talk about something i'm thinking about doing with the channel and hopefully you'll give me some feedback on that but the first uh, thing i want to mention is that i'm going to use this deck to talk about uh, the, the folks who are okay with leaders in the in the ilk of donald trump let's just say it plainly so these are the cards i'm going to use for that and i'm sure they'll give us some good feedback but in the meantime these are uh, oracle cards, and I'm thinking about including a short little piece on these videos that is a, an oracle card of the day, or maybe an oracle draw of the day, or some sort of an energy read like that. And if that's something that you'd watch, I want to know, because I'll do it. You know, whatever you want to see, uh, I'm glad to use whatever I've got to, to make that happen. So tell me what you think. If you think uh, something like this would be something you want to you wanna hear on this channel or see. But back to this. So I'm going to use these... Uh, uh, Smith Rider Weight is actually with the art because Rider Weight are the two fo folks who came up with the concept of, of the cards that uh, most of us use. And then, of course, Pamela Coleman Smith, I uh, like to be called Pixie, I understand, is the one who uh, actually drew the cards and um, colored them in and came up with, um, with, that, uh, with that idea. And you've seen them before. You know, these are just the typical cards that everybody uses. These cards, which were part of a centennial uh, celebration regarding, I guess, when the Rider Waite Smith cards were first uh, appeared. I, uh, I forgot, I read about it, but I forgot about that. But these are the cards that uh, they came up with that they determined were the closest in the coloration, in depiction of what uh, Pamela Coleman Smith intended for these to be. So they're very, they've been very good to me. And I'm I'm really happy with them. So we'll do some shuffle. We'll shuffle off to Buffalo. Anybody been to Buffalo? I have a friend who's been in Buffalo. If you're from Buffalo, let me know. And um, and we'll talk about these folks who are okay with, with with these sort of people leading their life. How does that 
happen? Why do, why doesn't people's good nature just automatically say, oh no, uh, I, there's a lot of people in the world, I'd rather have someone who doesn't lead their life in that in that way, um, making decisions for, for, for me. Because, um, I don't know, is that is that what you would do in your life? Would you take someone who you know to have to be comfortable performing uh, lying, performing the despicable acts that this person, uh, number 45, has done throughout his life, paying off porn stars, looking for the vulnerable in a situation to better, walking away from uh, businesses that employ lots of folks and letting them go bankrupt because he's already skimmed off the value that he wants from the top. How is it, would you let that person make decisions for your life? How is it that you think they're gonna make good decisions I just don't understand. I, I really, and it scares me. I mean, about, oh gosh, for a while, before this presidency, I realized, was coming to realize that there seemed to be more of these immoral people, people with just convenient morals around us than there do seem to be people who um, who care about how they leave, uh, you know, uh, the environment once they pass through, you know, it, it, to me, here's what it's like to me. So you go to a, a party and somebody comes to the party with an upset stomach. They know they're an upset stomach and they spend uh, the majority of the party farting. So they farted all through the party. They've gone from one little group to another little group and to another little group and they've contaminated them. And these people have turned away and walked away and they've contaminated this part. And these people have turned and walked away. But, but there's something in them that makes everybody say, well, let me go over and, and associate with that person for a while. And uh, when they make a stink, I'll just turn around and hold my nose until that passes. And then uh, we'll see what they say is best for my, for my life. That's what this all seems like to me, you know, putting up with a bad smell, actually inviting the bad smell into your home. So you folks, who are you? Why are you like that? Why does that, um, why is that okay for you? So we're gonna get uh, six cards off the top here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to put these back. I'm going to catch the next four when we get to the end of this reading out of here and see how this all comes out. So for the folks who who are okay with, with leaders with these sorts of uh, ugly morals, not the people who are, who are voting by mistake or who didn't think they were who they are. I mean the folks who know who they are. Why is that okay with you? And some of them are your neighbors that you like. Ugh. Okay, so <laughs> this looks like the appropriate signifier for this card. This is the greedy merchant, uh, is one of the one of the ways this card is described. And so it, it speaks to someone who has accumulated a lot in their life, and um, you know they've put it out on display, and they they're sitting here very defiantly, very happily showing you, look, I've got all of this, and I want you to see it, and it's all up here, and it's all my emotions, and everything I think about, and everything I care about is up here for display. So that's the Nine of Cups. The challenge to those people, those greedy merchants, is the Hierophant, the government, they feel, is the challenge to to uh, collecting their, their greedy trophies. And, um, and so if you're someone who the government uh, is a, an enemy to your uh, doing the things you wanted to, to to collect all your showy uh, value, then maybe you want as little government as possible. The base of this reading then, for these folks who knowingly make this decision about um, about these, these sketchy uh, politicians, the base of the reading for this is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands talks to about, you know, someone who is, is fending off advances. They're not um, threatening advances to the, to the fact that this person is raised above them. He's up on the top of this um, mesa. And these people seem to be down a bit on the next level, trying to reach up and involve themselves uh, in this person's um, way. And this person is saying, nope, nope, I'm gonna put up these blocks and I do not want you up here so that's what we've got here for the base of the reading. For the recent past of this reading, then, is the devil. And, you know, we've all been the devil. We've all done things uh, out of greed or, or lust or uh, selfishness. 
um, to our advantage, to the detriment of someone else. We have all done that. Everybody has um, zoomed ahead of somebody in the, when you're driving in the lane next to you and, and because you wanted to be in front, or at least you had it done to you. So the recent past for these folks is that they've been the devil, maybe a little more so than some others of us, and I guess they think it's okay. In the sky for these folks is juggling the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles speaks to just that, you know, trying to keep your, your, your good intentions and your bad, uh, you know, if not intentions, leanings uh, balanced. And you think, well, you know, I'm mostly good. I do some things bad. And if I just keep these things balanced, you know, everything's going to be good for me in the end. So that's who we've got there. Then the uh, future outcome for, for this ilk, for these sort of folks, what is the potential outcome for them? And it seems to be the sun. And let's face it, there's a lot of not nice people who do very, very well. And I say it all the time, bad wins more often than good wins. Uh, bad, bad pushes its way to the front and grabs the trophy and rides off into the sunset while the good stands behind and says, oh, oh, look at what they did. They should have done that. They're, they're going to get theirs in the end. Now, the self for these people, who are these people right now at this moment in time? As Jin in general, who are these people uh, now? Well, now they're the hanged man. Some might say um, they're, some of them perhaps are taking a beat uh, to take another look at this from some other perspective. And, um, but will they have the, the fortitude, the moral character to pull themselves out of it? What's the environment that, that, that these people who are, are just taking a break in? They're in the environment of the emperor. You know, for the longest time, the emperor associated with the terrible president we had in number 45. And I'm not sure that that's who I want to say that this uh, card represents. But the emperor certainly does represent someone who is completely in charge. And, uh, and you will do what the emperor says. And I would say that these folks probably still feel, since there's not two hierophant cards in a deck, I guess the best thing the cards could do was to bring us the emperor to say that these people who are taking a beat, they're in the environment of order. Okay? The hopes and the fears for, for these uh, people who I used to think were on the edges, but now they seem to be, you know, uh, equal footing, if not better footing than other people, is justice. And sure, that's a fear, uh, I think. Maybe, maybe they feel it's justice for them, and that's their hope. But for, for really folks who, who pay attention to morals, um, justice would certainly be uh, a fear of them, and it's a hope for the others of us. And then the final outcome for this reading is going to be, well, of course it is, the Two of Swords. It's trying to decide, which way am I going to go? Am I going to continue on this path that I've been on? Am I going to take this other path that maybe leads me towards something truer? Or am I going to sit here with my eyes closed and just let things continue to happen because it's made my financial situation, perhaps, or my conscience, or it's assuaged the things that I've done that I'm not so very proud of? Uh, is that uh, is that the final outcome? And I guess it is. And I don't know if we got answers to my original question of this, but it did uh, put me into the mindset, I think, of those folks who um, who com continually choose the, the, the path of, of lesser intention, as my good friend Cash Peters would say. He's not really my good friend, but, you know, you always feel like whoever's on the, on the on TV is your good friend. So the greedy merchant is who these folks are. They have been the devil, and they don't like government, and they have to make a choice, and they may just keep making the same choice that they've always made. In any respect, my name's Mark. It's my journey through tarot. Thank you very much for coming by. I hope this has been interesting for you. It's been very interesting for me today in particular, and ciao for now.